I speak from Pennsylvania's death row. A bright, shiny, highly mechanized hell. Umia Abu Jamal is one of the lost souls of the revolution. Mumia, how are you dealing with all of this darkness and despair and despondency and so forth? You said to me right about it. I'll tell the truth about it. It's a living hell. It's a nightmare. Powerful governments like to control. They love to control. And they're trying to figure out how to shut him down entirely. They have moved heaven and earth to stop his voice being heard in the United States. When you talk about groups that are maligned and slurred as terrorists in the major media, they're really uh, small fry. They're retail terrorists. Wholesale terrorists of the United States government. The whole problem is really the blacks. The key is to devise a system that recognizes this while not appearing to. Well, they did. Media dies, fires in the skies, rebel cries, politicized, brothers with the lies of couple. Look for me in the whirlwind, dead of struggle, dead of wind. Long live the Panthers, comrades with answers. Abu Jamal found guilty of murder, could get death for killing Abu, Abu Jamal, sentenced to chair, is cop killer. Slain officer's wife praises the jurors. Guilty as you all, free me, me, Abu Jamal. There were reports being written on him since he was 14 years old. I think it impelled me towards radicalism generally, with, of course, the help of the Philadelphia Police Department. Mumia is imitating the first cry of the first slave brought to this country who said no. This is what he's able to do to make what's on CNN the lie that it is and tell it to you with the charisma of a Malcolm X. And that's dangerous. That's beautiful. What makes Mamiya so threatening to many people in the United States is that he is still a revolutionary. And because he has been in jail for so long, the system has not had the opportunity to calm him down. On a move from death row, this is Mumia Abu-Jamal.